Tonight we are going to broadcast a sleep study uh, of a young man who is actually in social media and I think he's very interested in communicating to many people about what his experience is going to be. What sort of things is he going to be doing? Well, I, tonight he is going to be educated about the process of having a sleep study. Uh, he will be communicating to friends, to uh, individuals that he blogs with about the reasons why he has a sleep study and why he wants to uh, share that with the world. All set? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Ready to go to bed. And then, then the night begins. And, and Paul is uh, here at bed midnight. Ish. Ish. Um, <laughs> Paul's going to be interacting with us from the room. He's going to be on Twitter, he's going to be blogging, he's going to be doing his traditional stuff, but joining in the conversation and helping shape the dialogue. The main goal really is not to promote ourselves. We, we don't want to be out there. We really want to build sleep awareness and talk about the issues that are affecting people. people. Choked to death. And so when you're snoring, essentially you're being choked by your tongue, your tonsils, your soft palate. So if you imagine that, you're going to have a fight or flight response. Your body is trying to save itself. And we know that if your body tries to save itself, it's going to do it by waking you up, raising your heart rate so you can fight. It's going to raise your blood pressure so you can stand. It's going to release sugar so you have energy to fight off whoever's choking you. And it's also going to release hormones that prepare you. Now, if this happens once when you're driving, and you're, that's okay, but if it happens at night a hundred times, right. essentially that's going to cause a lot of It has to be education, and we've learned tonight that even with the internet, even with uh, working with a young couple that are extremely savvy, um, there's a lack of knowledge about the fact that you can have a sleep disorder and it can have a severe impact, even if you feel pretty good. Uh, so that was, that was a very important fact for him. Uh, the, second, the second issue has to do with perhaps helping someone who may be afraid of the solution. So, for example, in this case... Yeah, that's fine. That's good news. And what I'm pretty much doing here is mapping out your brain. Okay. Yes. Awesome. This really is the coolest part. This isn't uncomfortable at all, by the way. Yeah. This is... This, I, I'm, I'm not even being sarcastic, though. This is like... It's... It's... So the first thing is that um, sleep is a very ancient phenomenon. It's very central to any organized brain. And is, um, it goes back probably 500 million years in evolution. Here we go. Perfect. Microphone? Are you going to be in here for a little longer? Nope. Okay. All set. Okay. All right. All right. You're going to hear me through the intercom. Okay. And um, we'll start the some exercises to verify our reading. Okay, sure. Okay. And you're turning off all the lights. Okay. Um, how's that? Next is the ECG, the electrocardiogram, which tells us about the electrical signals that are involved with the heartbeat. And in his case, he has beautifully regular, um, well defined, well organized ECG. So he's in very good shape. Good morning. So you still have some pace left, especially on the hairs. Mm -hmm. so, uh